Where'd the sticker idea come from? You're not the first guy to have that sticker on, on his headgear in this program. Um, first thing I heard of it was coming down the stairs today, so I'm not sure where it came from. I'm guessing Tom said something about it in his press conference, but uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I'm a machine, I'm a machine. Um, so stay out of my way when I'm working. I realize if you're not gonna stay out of the way, I'll put you out of the way, and people aren't gonna like that. What has this off season been like for you as far as putting in the work to you know prepare yourself for possible title run here? Uh, there's no real such thing as off season other than the fact that we don't have any competitions um, as far as collegiate wrestling wise. Um, nothing really changed for me in between the NCAA tournament and now. Um, moving forward every day, uh, I was in here uh, preparing for um, obviously the season. Uh, Rio 2016 and, and beyond. So there, there, there's no difference in lifestyle, no difference in the training. Uh, maybe a little more relaxed, but but moving forward every day in that uh, quote unquote off season. Uh, but like I said, it's a lifestyle, and, and there's no such thing as off season other than the fact that it's a little more laid back uh, and no collegiate competitions. How much are you looking ahead or thinking about what was behind you when it comes to that that training? You know, are you thinking about March and, and what transpired, or are you looking ahead to what's in front of you? Uh, it's like looking back to the NCAA tournament 2015. Yep, 2016. This is last March when you lost in the finals. 2016, yeah, yeah, my bad. Um, I don't know how much I think about it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, uh, there's some hurt and sting there, but, I mean, I'm a guy that, that puts that behind me fairly quickly and moves on. Um, as far as looking forward to this NCAA tournament, obviously it's in, in my sights and I'm looking forward to it, but I got to take care of day-to-day uh, -day stuff, like getting better every day. And if I take care of that, then March will take care of itself. You made, a, you made a clear jump from your sophomore year to your junior year in terms of, of the points you were putting on the board, the bonus points. Uh, are there any lessons you learned from that that you can pass down to some of these other guys that can help them make that kind of leap this season? Yeah, of course. Just going out there and do do what you do best and do what you're here to do. Uh, we're here to put on a show for the fans and, and to put ourselves out there. I mean, uh, my sophomore year, I didn't really put myself out there too much. I was too worried about and caught up in, you know, maybe just winning matches. And it's not really about winning matches here. It's about uh, winning by a large margin and, and getting the fans excited. I don't know how excited I got the fans my, my freshman and sophomore year, but that my last year, um, I think they were pretty excited. So, um, got to think outside the box a little bit, think uh, not selfishly, think about the fans, uh, think about what they want to see. Um, it's going to give these guys a little more motivation to train a little harder in order to put themselves out there.